<laughs> Good morning, everyone. So today, Lucy and me and Justin and his mom were all supposed to go to the farmer's market this morning, and we were really excited. I think we even talked about it in yesterday's vlog so that we could, like, take it off the bucket list or whatever. And then it was supposed to be 82 and sunny, and it's 55 and raining, and I even heard some thunder. So at least if it gets, like, a really good thunderstorm, then maybe we can film the thunderstorm as a part of the bucket list because I know that's on there but we want to wait till there's like a really good one also I just wanted to address we put up a video last night our last vlog and it I titled it as a joke like Lucy hates non-vegans and that's literally like not how we feel at all like oh my gosh like I, hate, I don't even like talking about it that much like what I think we're gonna try to do from here on out is make the videos very like separate and like segmented so that people that don't want to hear about being vegan at all just don't have to watch it and then people that do can watch them like we'll make it like clear in the titles and stuff because that one was kind of like mixed with our vlog which we haven't really done before but it didn't go over so well a lot of you were saying like and one girl actually in particular you know I really like understood your comment and it made like a lot of sense to me and I was like this is how I feel too and it was like I don't think it's such a big deal like it's literally just your diet choice and I feel like you guys make it out to be such a big deal and like it doesn't have to be such a big deal I think I just make it a big deal in my head because I'm always so worried of what other people think about me and I want everyone to like me so I know that it's like a controversial thing so that's why I was scared to talk about it for a while and I know some of you like are interested in hearing about being vegan at all which is fine because like Lucy said in that video, I know she talked like a while on it but I think she's just like getting in really into what she was saying but like literally it's like very personal and it's your diet and it's your life and I don't judge you regardless and I want people to keep in mind and remember I was not vegan for 19 years of my life and I was fine and that's okay you know it's just something I like recently decided to change into so don't like literally don't worry about it you know and like I said I really am not here to offend anyone the title of that video is completely a joke like Lucy hates non-vegans like it's ridiculous she doesn't like we love everyone regardless like I don't care what you eat what color shape or size you are how old how young like I, I literally don't care like we love everyone the same so yeah like I said here on out we're gonna keep it more separate like videos that have to do with more like vegan videos like we'll say in the title like probably like vegan recipe or like vegan what I eat in a day so if you're not interested in that by all means don't watch it and then our other vlogs we will keep talking about being vegan to a minimum because I know it's annoying if you don't believe in it and I don't want you to feel like we're like shoving our ideas down your throats you know what I mean so that's all that's gonna be said on that the title of that video is a joke I know a lot of people someone said wow you're really gonna regret this title but like if you watch the video you would see that Lucy says I'm not judging you and I don't care either way so yeah basically I'm sad it's thunderstorming because we really wanted to go to the farmers market but now I'm so excited Justin and I are about to go film with Lucy for my twin sister versus my boyfriend video and like I said we filmed that before but my computer deleted the footage like and I was thinking you know maybe it's like fate because we were even saying before we filmed the video like oh maybe we should refilm this another time when I like think of better questions because the questions were kind of like simple and like dumb and I didn't have that much time to plan them out but now I have like 20 like really good questions like do you really know me do you really listen and I don't know if we're gonna do all 20 but I'm excited to refilm it to have it up there for you guys and hopefully my computer won't delete it this time like basically what had happened is I imported it into iMovie and I always keep the original one on my camera I think I said this in another vlog sorry if I'm repeating myself but I just feel very passionate about it and I always keep it like on my memory card but this time I was like you know I know it's on my computer my memory card's full I'll just delete it off so I deleted it off my iMovie crashed it was like sorry iMovie crashed like do you want to reopen so I reopened it and that entire event was gone and I was like are you kidding me and I tried for hours like reading forums online and trying to like bring it back and it just wouldn't work so yeah and we're gonna be filmed so that's okay and I don't know what we're gonna do like off the bucket list today. We will see. Oh no. So rainy. I know. This is before I, I put some almond milk, I banana, know. cocoa powder, and cashews and dates. I don't know if you can see Hi. them in there. Mm. Such a good puppy. Hi. Best friends. <laughs> After yum. Look, it came out so thick today. It's like so thick. I love it like that. Don't then you can see my socks. 
You're biting me! <clears throat> biting the chair. Good. No, I'm sorry. Ow! <laughs> you bloody wanker. So we're about to refilm boyfriend versus twin sister and I'm really excited. Are you hiding? <laughs> I'm really excited to refilm it because I'm so sad that my computer deleted the first one. I called Justin sobbing, remember? Mm -hmm. I was so sad. So it's gonna be good. Teddy, do you want to be in the video? Mwah. <laughs> So another comment that I saw is that you guys were saying like, oh, like when Lucy finished a book, why didn't that count for off the bucket list? And honestly, I don't know. Like some things off the bucket list, we were trying to both do. And then, but some things I just did and I crossed it off anyway, like going yeah. to an island, going on a train and stuff like you didn't come with, but I still crossed it off. Cause you were gonna come, but like, do you know what I mean? So I guess some things will be just one of us, but most things we're gonna try to do both of us. But like, if it is only one of us, I guess we'll still count it. But like for the book thing, it is feasible that I should be finishing a book. So I'm probably going to finish it today anyway. So then we'll cross it off. That's probably what we'll do today off the bucket list is me finishing the book. Because I know I'm just going to go finish it. So yeah, that's what we're going to do today off the bucket list. But yeah, so sorry that's kind of like confusing. We didn't really come to a consensus before we like started. Yeah. Some things will be just one of us. Some things will be both of us. Probably most things will be both of us though. Because like the goal is to like do it together, you know? Lucy's such a gem. She left me a lavash flatbread. This reminds me of Hannah because I remember she always used to eat lavash with yummy greens and hummus. What are you doing, boy? Don't eat my socks. I decided I kept wanting to wear my fuzzy socks, even though I'm wearing these shoes, so I just kind of squished them down. But I'm going to the mall, and it's kind of embarrassing. But, like, I don't really care, so I'm going to do it anyway. Like, is that, like, really noticeable and weird? But people can be like, what the heck is that girl doing? And I'm wearing these shorts and, like, this tank top. Oh my gosh, you hate wearing your collar. Like, stop. So there's hummus down there in the bottom and some onions, and I added some avocado, and I added some tomato too. Lucy doesn't like tomato, but I put it on mine. And I hear the doggies fighting. What are you two doing? Be good. I vlogged my son with Joel, so. Teddy likes to bite Ozzy's legs. Teddy, enough! Be nice to your brother. And guys, my friend Brooke, Brooke Miccio, here on YouTube, she loves dates with almond butter. And I've had them with peanut butter before, but I've never tried it with almond butter. So this is gonna be my first reaction. All right, step one. Find a really squishy, ripe date. This one's ripe. I freaking love dates. They're so good. I'm gonna eat half by itself, because I just, I'm in love. I think this is the kind she uses too. I've never tried this um, Trader Joe's almond butter, but I love, like, literally I'm in love with the Trader Joe's peanut butter. So this is probably so good. Let's see. Mmm. Very good. And I'm just, like, in love with dates. I'm gonna eat another one, because dates are life. To me, they just taste like candy. Like, they taste like caramel. And I'm pretty sure they're like good for you. Well, I mean, they probably have a lot of sugar because they taste like sugar. So now Lucy and me are going to the mall because she wanted to stop by Abercrombie and look at like maxi dresses. And I actually wanted to look there too for, what was it? Oh yeah, jean skirt. Do you remember a while ago, Lucy? We would get like leg wash, like ripped, like shorter jean skirts from there. And they were in like the ones that are just like kind of straight, you know, but like not too long, not too short. Like, I guess they're a little short. You don't want to talk about and then we got rid of them because they were like totally out of style. And now I swear, like the other day I saw a picture on Instagram and I'm like, that is so cute. Like I need one. So I've been like on the lookout for a cute one. I tried on one at Urban and it was like not cute. So hopefully I find a cute one of those. I've been wanting suede knee high black boots for like ever. And now I know it's summer, but I would still wear them with like a dress or something. And I tried on, uh, what was the name? These ones in sack. And they were eight hundred dollars. God, what are they called? They're this really oh, it's killing me. They're this really fancy, um, just like boot, like brand name. Oh my god, it's like on the tip of my tongue, but I forget it. But anyway, so hopefully I can maybe find a pair or like try some on and see if I like them. And oh yeah, also I wanted to say so since we refilmed the twin sister versus boyfriend video earlier. I don't know what I was thinking. Like obviously it would either be that one of you is gonna win or you would tie like again like when the first time we filled it. But 
Lucy won by one point, but I st I like felt so bad for Justin because I'm like he still knows me and he still tried really well and like I just spilled my lemon water everywhere. Oops. But anyway, um, <laughs> but yeah, but I like I felt so bad because he still like knows me really well and he got a lot of questions right that like maybe even you got wrong. I know you got some right that he got wrong, but regardless, I felt really bad. So I'm still gonna buy him stuff that he wants on Amazon for his fish. And cause Lucy's prize was that she was gonna have me pay for half her Ray-Bans. And Justin's was that I was gonna pay for his fish stuff and for new fishes cause he loves his beta fish. And if you guys remember Jeff, his first beta fish who died and I cried in that one video, he got a new beta fish named Carlos. Oh yeah, I was with him when we got Carlos. And now he wants another beta fish and a goldfish to go in this tank with like three of them. Don't worry, it's like separate. There's like separate different sections because obviously beta fish can't like be with each other, you know, because then they like fight or whatever and they can't like look in mirrors, like you know, like that kind of thing. But he likes his beta fish, so I have to get him a beta fish and a goldfish and he just sent me, I need to get his new fish tank that I got for them, a light, and he wants a leaf hammock for his beta fish, Carlos. So I gotta get him those and I don't, I felt like sharing with you because it's funny. Like literally he just sent me this picture. Beta bed leaf hammock. But I feel like they wouldn't sleep. They wouldn't like I don't know. He just, he wants it. He likes his fish. I think like it's almost like a hobby. Like having fish and like having cool stuff for them. It's like fun. So I have to get him fish stuff. And Lucy's going to get her ray Lucy, They're going to look so sick on you. You look, you look good literally in every single sunglasses. Are you going to get the black ones that have like the gold on the outside or silver? The gold? I'll try them on. I was thinking gold because I have a pair of They're gonna look sick. I just know it. I'm getting really embarrassed that I still have uh, cheetah fuzzy socks on with my sneakers, so I think I'm gonna take them off. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering right now, these are kids, and that's why you probably haven't seen them. <laughs> Lucy wanted those ones because she just wanted the gray, like adult ones for a while, and it was like, buy one, get one half off. So I'm like, okay, I gotta find a pair I like. So I found these in kids, and they're the ones I picked out. And I have to take off these socks now because I'm too embarrassed actually to wear them inside. <laughs> of course we end up here. <laughs> of course. We just tried on a bunch of stuff in Lululemon because we can't walk by without going in. I know. We're going to Abercrombie, yay. Oh, bad idea, guys. Look what happened. No. I didn't wear my socks with my shoes and now we're going into Macy's and I'm gonna wear barefoot. Well, let's see what happens. No, I'm really scared. I'll probably get yelled at. Yeah. <laughs> I was literally about to go in barefoot. Cause my, the back of my heels are so bad. Those ones. This is your prize for winning the video. Well, I'll pay for half. Yeah. I really like them. They look really sick. Guys, are these rose gold ones like new? I've literally never seen them before. And like those and those are so pretty. I think these are the ones Tasha got, I think. Actually, she got those that were coming in the mail. Round ones like that, though. Oh, they were round, but like had that like frame yeah. color, like the what's it I called? I feel like it's like these. Oh yeah, she got that style, but in that color, they're so pretty. I returned. I returned. Gretchen's the worst driver ever, and she no. just pulled out in front of another car and ran over the curb. She's like, we're like walking out of Macy's. I was like walking towards the driver's side, and so was she. And she I mean, was like. Wins. Yeah, she's in two ah! right now. Stop! Lucy, lemons are on me. Well, well on my legs. Well, they're gonna stay there because you're <laughs> stupid. <laughs> um, and this guy in Mustang, he's like laughing because yeah. I was pulling out in front of him and was like, I, I had to, I, she didn't even notice it. I had to yell at and her. And I was embarrassed and just looked at him and I was like, and just like hit it in reverse and he was like just go yeah, and I was like no. He was laughing. So since we've been back from the mall I've just been chilling like editing videos and stuff and I'm really excited for one video. Well I'm really excited for two videos that are going up soon. Probably probably after this video. It, one is going to be my updated summer morning routine video and the other one is obviously the video that I filmed today with Justin and Lucy being the boyfriend versus twin sister video. I think I've talked about that video so much now. Basically I've just been relaxing. My back is like really bothering me. I don't know why. My lower back is just really hurting today and I'm like oh, man it just really hurts. And I like don't feel so hot. I think I just haven't been getting a lot of sleep and also I've been getting into a terrible habit of staying up really late and sleeping in really late and I've heard that like so like let's just say a good amount of sleep for you is eight hours so I've heard like 
getting eight hours from 10 to 6 or from 3 to 11 really isn't the same thing like it kind of just throws your body off and that's literally what I've been doing like I'll go to bed at like 3 but I'll get up at like 11 but I still feel like tired and groggy because you sleep like half the day you know what I mean so I definitely want to start going to bed earlier and getting up earlier like I'm gonna try to go to bed at like 10 or 11 tonight and I also need to make sure I get more sleep because like I feel like the summer is the time to make sure you get a lot of sleep and usually I feel like in summer's past I get like six hours every night and it's like why like you don't have school or like, like get your butt to bed on time it'll make you healthier and more productive and not as groggy and yeah, but basically right now, it's already 9.15, and I, I've been sucking with, like, eating, like, meals, too, because, like, my first meal will be at, like, 12.15 or something if I sleep till, like, 11, so I, like, haven't even been hungry because I ate lunch at, like, 4, but I'm gonna go make one of my favorite snacks, which is just zucchini that you, like, put in a pan and put a bunch of salt and pepper on, and it's, like, so good, and I haven't had it in a while, so, because I'm literally not even hungry for dinner, so that'll be fine. <laughs> So now it's way later and I did in fact finish Skinny Bitch and I know we talked about this a bunch before but it was just a really good book and I would highly recommend it. It was like, I don't know how to describe it. Like I thought it was like really funny. It's like very sassy. Like it kind of is like, no, like this is how it is. Like, it has a lot of attitude but like I like that. Like I just find it funny but maybe some people might think it's like offending so I don't know. Just disclaimer but I thought it was really funny and I would definitely recommend it if you're interested in reading up about like nutrition it has a whole bunch of facts it talks about so much stuff and now Lucy and me I think are just going to watch the blacklist if I mentioned I think I said that we we were already on episode four and we switched our summer series instead of new girl to the blacklist except we're still watching new girl too like Lucy watched a bunch of that yesterday but yeah, so that is it for today's vlog. The thing we did off the bucket list was finishing a book. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.